What's up, YouTube? We got a 1997 Toyota Corolla. It's the 1.6 liter. Been doing oil change today. You're gonna need about 3.25 quarts 5W30. Running full synthetic. Walmart Super Tech, $14 a gallon. Um, I'll show you everything else included. I'm gonna use a 3 8 uh, 15 millimeter socket. All right, so we have a 15 millimeter socket. This car's got 223,000 miles. Do full synthetic every four or five thousand miles. The crush washer on there, remove that. We'll replace torque specs on that. I believe we're 30 foot pounds. Gonna let this drip for five minutes and then torque it back down to spec. Just take the cable bar here and take that off. How to get that with two hands. Clean and inspect the drain plug. Check your threads. All are good here for 1997. Looking pretty good. Replace crush washer. Throw a new one on. I believe the torque is 30 or 32 foot pounds. Double check that and confirm. We're going to hand thread this on. Should go on perfectly, nice and smooth. No cross threads. And clean up. So here's your oil pan right here, go up, and there's the oil filter. Some people find it easier getting it from down here, or you can go from up top. If you got a filter wrench, grab it from underneath. Uh, if you want to get it from up top and you got a good hand strength, good natural grip strength, get it from up top. And there you can see it right underneath the exhaust manifold. It's right here. I'm just gonna reach in and grab her. Make sure you have your O-ring still intact, which is clearly on there. That way when you go to put on, you have a good seal. We're gonna be adding three quarts of Supertech 5W30. Using a K on K and N. Take a little oil. Increase that O-ring, that seal. I added a little oil in there, prime the filter. This mounts horizontally, so you don't want to fill it up too much.
There you can see the oil filter housing. I'll go ahead and wipe that. Looks pretty good though. I reinstalled the oil filter from up top. You can see it right under the exhaust manifold. That's it right there. Just make sure you go hand tight. There it is installed. Don't go too tight because then you'll have a tough time getting it off. Except with the K&N because you can throw a socket on there. Now I'm just going to add three quarts, start the engine, let it idle for a minute, pull it off these ramps so it's a nice flat level, and then I'll check the dipstick, add any if I need it. check see where I'm at all right so I've got three quarts in there I'm gonna start it up let it idle and show you where I'm at all right YouTube in about 10 minutes give it a quick wipe And we are right where I want to be at. That was three full quarts. And a filter change. Pretty level flat ground. Remember always add a little bit less and then you could add a little more later. Don't just put a whole bunch in. I always try to go for about a half a quart lower than the manufacturer's, manufacturer's recommendation. And then go from there and top off.